already houses welcome back and in this video I want to talk to you guys about something called a mix-in and how you can use parameters with them in other words whenever you have a rule in SAS and you need to give it additional information in order to work this is how you do it and for this example what I'm gonna be doing is I kept my demo from the last tutorial where we had a little panel and a big panel and I'll add a border radius to these. In other words, you see how these corners are square right now? I'm gonna add a little curve to them. And if you guys ever did this before, then you know that whenever you just wanna add a curved corner to something, it's kind of a pain in the butt because every browser, you need to tell it how to work differently. So you can have a class called border radius and you would typically do something like this. WebKit border radius and this is how you tell it for webkit browsers like um chrome and just give it something like five pixels and let me copy this because we need to do it for everything so webkit border radius also going to have a moz border radius for firefox ie or excuse me ms border radius and then just regular border radius so let me actually do all this right now so there's webkit and then there's uh, Moz for Firefox. And then there is, I believe it's a MS for Internet Explorer, Microsoft. And you're looking at this and you're like, okay. So this is a lot of work. And anytime I wanna add, you know, just a curved corner to something, this is what I have to do. And remember the one rule that I told you guys is that you never wanna repeat yourself in web design. So we're looking at this and we already know that it's inefficient. So instead of just taking this and either extending it over and over, what we can do is we can actually use mixins and we can use parameters. So instead of just having the same curviness of five pixels, we can actually pass in this value since we're gonna be using it over and over again. So first let me show you how to include a mixin. So a mixin, is just a chunk of code, which is in this case this, that we're gonna include in other places. And in this example, a little panel and big panel. So in order to make a mixin, before whatever name of your rule is, type at mixin. This means that I'm gonna take this code and mix it in to somewhere else. I guess that's what it means. And also after this, if I wanna give myself a little bit more flexibility, I can add something called a parameter. And a parameter is just additional information. So instead of just having a fixed value of five pixels for every single corner, I can actually write after the name right here, I can type another variable called like radius. Now I'll take this and let me paste this my stupid cursor would work properly right here whenever I would have that hard coded value. So now let's go ahead and include this chunk and see how it works. So write in whatever properties you wanna use this mixin, type at include, and since you're including this border radius, you can see in the little text hint there that Whenever you include it, it needs an additional piece of information in order to work, and that's the radius. So for this one, I'll just say five pixels. And let me do the same thing, but I'm gonna change the pixel or roundiness of the corners in this bottom rule right here. And I'll change this one to 20. So real quick, I'll show you guys what this compiles to. So basically we're taking this, mixing right here, we're copying it and pasting it wherever we include it, but we're also giving it an additional piece of, inf piece of information. Hmm, sound like, I don't even know, Sean Connery or something. <laughs> and uh, depending on what we pass in, that's what it's gonna use. So this one used five pixels and this one used 20 pixels, so check it out. So little panel has a slight roundiness and big panel this has a border radius of 20 pixels, so that got very roundy. I guess that's a, <laughs> the technical term, roundiness. I doubt that is the technical term, but it is in this video, whatever. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use a mixin. Basically, a little snippet of code 
that you can pass in custom values to set your properties equal to those values. See you next video.